like little monkeys jumping on the bank. One fell down and broke his arm. Mother called the doctor, doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and broke his arm. Mother called the doctor, doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hello, my wonderful cuckoos, my good children. How are you today? How have you been? Hope you've been feeling fine and you've been staying safe. Hope you remember not to do all the bad habits I said you should not be doing by not chewing your clothes. Don't put your clothes in your mouth and start chewing. It's not food. And don't eat your pencil. Don't show your fingernails and don't pick anything from the floor and put it in your mouth because it is bad habits. All these are bad habits which you should not be doing. Good. And hope you also remember to always stay, stay safe by washing your hand with soap and running water and also sanitize your hand. Good. Today, Mr. Nicola is here again with another subject, which is health habit. Again, health habit. And the topic we have for this health habit is red tides. Everybody say it, red tides. Again, red tides. Good. Now, before we go into the topic, the learning objective says, at the end of this lesson, each of the pupils should be able to say what red sign is. Say what red sign is. Two, mention different types of red signs. Mention different types of red signs. Identify different types of red signs. Identify different types of red signs. Good. Now, what is red sign? Red tide is an animal that crawls or moves on its belly. Again, red tide is an animal that crawls or moves on its belly. Again, red tide is an animal that crawls or moves on its belly. Good. A red tide cannot walk like other animals. Yes, they cannot run like other animals. They crawl, they crawl, or they move on their belly. They cannot walk with their leg. Those are the animals we call red tides. Now, let's see the different types of red tides we have. Can you see this picture? Yes, yes. This is a picture of a crocodile. Say it, everybody say it. It's a picture of a crocodile. Crocodile is a red tie because it moves and it crawls on its belly. It cannot walk on its leg. It can only crawl or move on its belly because it is a red tie. Two, the second picture here shows a picture of a lizard. Good, you know it. A lizard. Again, lizard. Have you ever seen a, a lizard walking on his leg? No. A lizard can only crawl or move on his belly. A lizard crawl or move on his belly because it is a reptile. Because it is a reptile. Good. The third picture here is a picture of no, it's not a crow. It's not a lizard. It's a wall gecko. Again, wall gecko. You know all those wall gecko, they move on the wall. You can see them crawling on the wall because they are reptiles. They crawl or move on their belly because they are reptiles. 
The next picture here is a picture of who can tell me the name of this animal? Yes, yes, good. Tortoise. This is a picture of a tortoise. Tortoise. Tortoise is a reptile because it moves or crawls on its belly. A tortoise crawls on its belly. It cannot stand up and walk on its leg like other animals. Tortoise is a reptile, so it crawls on its belly. Then the next picture here we can see is a picture of a snake. Good. Picture of a snake. Can a snake walk on his leg? No. Good. A picture a snake crawl on his belly. Clap yourself. Clap yourself. Say, I am great. Yes, you'll be great. A snake crawl on his belly. A snake crawl on his belly because it is a reptile. Because it is a what? Reptile. Good. So, all these animals we are seeing, they are reptiles. They cannot walk on their leg. They can only crawl or move on their belly because they are reptiles. Can you still tell me the name of the reptiles we have? Yes, yes, snake. Yes, snake. Well, get cold. Good, good. Yes. Alligator. Yes, alligator. Uh -huh. Crocodile. Yes, crocodile. Good. And tortoise. And tortoise. Love for yourself. So all these animals we are talking about, they are. And the other one, the other one is, the other one is, X wall. Yes. This is a picture of, a, of an H wall. An H wall is a reptile that crawls or moves on its belly. It crawls or moves on its belly because it's a reptile. Because it's a what? Reptile. So all these animals we are seeing, they are reptiles. They cannot walk on their leg. They crawl or move on their belly because they are reptiles. Good. Now, let's go to week seven. In week seven, we are going to see the reptiles control. We are going to see reptiles control. And before we go deep into the lesson, let's see the learning objective. At the end of the lesson, each of the people should be able to mention way of controlling reptiles. Mention way of controlling reptiles. Now, as we all know that reptiles, they are the animals that move or crawl on their belly. What are the ways we can control them so that they will not come near to us to harm us or to enter our house. What, what can we do so that we can prevent them? We can control them in our environment. What can we do? Yes, the picture we are seeing here, number one way of controlling red time is by putting net, covering our window with net. We put net on our window so that red time will not crawl and move into our window. If we put net in our window, Red time will not have any chance or any way to enter our room or parlor. So, number two way of controlling red time is by fumigating all our surroundings. If you see, you can see the picture of it of this man fumigating his environment. You fumigate all your environment, fumigate your surrounding, fumigate your rooms, fumigate your parlor, fumigate your surrounding so that red time will not be able to gain control over your surrounding. So, number three way of controlling reptiles is by not leaving our window open. We should not open our window, just open it any down, just open it anyhow and go away. No, we should be keeping our window safe by always keep closing our window. 
we lock our window, we keep it locked every time. And if it happens that we open it, we will be somewhere near to close our window on time so that red tide will not be able to crawl into our bedroom. Number three way of controlling red tide from our surrounding is by not leaving our doors open. We should not in any way leave our door open. If we are in or out, we should always keep our door closed. The door of our room, the door of our parlor, the door of our entrance, we should always close our door on our gates. If you close your door, snake will not, will not be able to enter your parlor or your room or your surrounding. Snake will not be able to enter our compound. Snake will not be able to enter our, our compound. Alligator will not be able to gain entrance to our compound. Even earthworm will not be able to enter our parlor or our room because they are not good to our health. So we should always keep our window and our door closed. And also, we should always keep our surrounding clean. We should always keep our surrounding clean by always cutting all the bush in our surrounding. All the bushes there, we should cut them low. Cut our, our bush in our surrounding, all the grasses there. All the grown grasses there, we should cut them low. If you cut the grasses low, we burn all the grasses and sweep on our surrounding, pack all the dirt in our surrounding so that our surrounding will not accommodate red size that can do damages to our health. So those are the way that we can keep our surrounding free from red size. So children, what are the way again to keep our, our surrounding free of reptiles. What are the way we can, we can control reptiles in our surrounding? By covering our window with nets. Always cover, cover your window with nets. The second one, we can fumigate our house. We fumigate our house, we fumigate our surrounding, we fumigate our environment very well so that reptiles will not get entrance not be able to stay in our environment or our rooms. Then, number three way, as I said, we can keep red time from, away from our surrounding is by always closing our window. By always what? Closing our window. We should always close our window. We should not allow our window to be open for long so that red time, any dangerous red time, will not be able to gain entrance into our bedroom or our family. Number fourth way of controlling reptiles, as I told you, as I've told you, is by always keep our doors closed. The door to our to our environment, the door to our room, the door to our parlor, the door to our compound, we should always keep it closed every time. So that any dangerous reptile will not gain entrance into our parlor, our room, or our environment. And we should always keep our gates closed so that dangerous reptiles like snake, crocodile, or any dangerous animal will not enter our compound. Oh, you've gained one or two things from today's topic. As you have come to the end of today's topic, hope you have gained one or two things from this topic of today. Good. Bye bye for now. I miss you, Mr. Adeko. I miss you very much. And I hope we are going to resume very soon. Bye-bye for now.